Thanks, guys. Bye. You... Thank you. And just as a surprise here, I know some people are waiting for some new info on the next uh, upcoming stuff. So on our outro, I'll leave you guys with a little surprise on the outro. But thank you guys so much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye now. Bye. So yeah, here we are, finally getting some juicy new content on the new Space Engineers upcoming update. We were thinking it was just going to be Grid AI, but here we have it. Some brand new blocks that I'm going to try and analyze for you guys. So so yeah, this is from Keen's Devs Lost in Space stream, where they've been discussing this AI ship generation tool. This is also going to be part of a user study. Um, the ships that you generate with these are definitely not going to take over your Space Engineers worlds, I promise. I don't think this AI really wants to do that, totally. Anyway, so yeah, I digress. So here we have the bike that's been teased. I've annotated everything new that I've been able to spot on it. So yes, here we have this snazzy new biker cockpit looking thing. Similar to the rover cockpits, but now designed for bikes. It's going to be around 3x3 blocks by the looks of things. Or at least like this, so you've got the main line of blocks and then half blocks each side. If that makes sense. But of course the hitbox is still going to be like 3x3. That's at least by the looks of things. It also looks like it's going to have some conveyor ports, probably here, and definitely here, because that's where this hydrogen thruster is attached. I'm guessing to be on the front as well, because like you can see that one there. But that's not all. Now you might have noticed this one here, highlighted in green. No idea what this is, but it could be something related with Grid AI, or well, this could perhaps be like a flight computer, as suggested by this guy in chat that I've literally just read after recording this video. But back to the video. But honestly, I have no idea what this could be, because all we can really see is these two bars. But then there's this thing on the side, highlighted in greeny green. Now you might have originally thought it's just the side of a pre-existing block, like an ore detector or something like that. Though, what I realise is this pattern here, I'm pretty sure is the edge of a hydrogen tank block, similar to this one down here. So that means that this is going to be some sort of armor plate or something. Perhaps reactive armor or a DLC fancy plate. I wouldn't get my hopes up, I'm assuming this is DLC something or other, but we'll have to wait and see. And finally, the last thing I was able to spot was this here. Now it looks like it's just a normal thing made out of pre-existing armor plate blocks, although if you take a look closely, this is actually in between these two blocks. So similar to that new railing block, we are actually getting this in between half armor plate. Perhaps we're going to get a full armor plate in the middle as well, but we'll have to wait and see. So, so it's not like an absolutely massive teaser with absolutely everything going to be getting in this update, but it definitely does show that there's not going to be just grid AI in this one. I mean, there's a very slim chance this could be coming after the Grid AI, but because of what Zockley said, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the case. So this is some of the stuff we might be getting next update. So yeah, I'll let this sum up the outro for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. End our route.